Hello, this is Hound4004, Minecraft 1.16.2, the second pre-release, has been released, so let's go over all that is new. Okay, so we're in survival mode, so normally, in Minecraft, you need shears to get the new crimson warps. You can still use shears and use up all that durability you have on your shears, or you can just punch it with your fist now and get it. As of this pre-release, you can now punch crimson and warped roots and they drop as their item, so you no longer need shears. Also, the execute command now respects dimension scalings. So that's, that's, that's everything that's truly new in 1.16.2, this pre-release. Although there is a, quite a few bugs, there is a crap ton of bugs, so we'll go over a few. If you were at Y1, the pistons would not push downward. And if you were at Y254, the pistons would not push upward, so now apparently they do. In the last snapshot, Endermen could pick up snowy grass blocks without any snow layers on them. So they could, uh, sneaky sneaky, take out the grass block that is now all snowy and cold texture with the snow layer on top. But of course those are two separate blocks, so the Endermen would only take the block underneath, and they'd be able to place these blocks. So you'd have snowy grass blocks without any snow on them at all in your world, which was actually kind of cool, but, uh, y you can't have that anymore, so don't even try to get an Enderman to give you a snowy grass block without any snow on it. So apparently dyes in the creative inventory were in reverse order. So you know uh, the, the two new uh, presets for Minecraft worlds, like you had the option of making a floating island as your Minecraft world, or a big overworld that's actually kind of like the nether. Well, good luck trying to get into the end, because before, for some reason, the strongholds would not generate on those world pre-types. So now you can go to a stronghold and get to the end on floating islands or cave-type worlds. So let's say you did not buy Minecraft, and you kind of have the demo version or the unpaid for version, and you have, you know, your world because you can't have a world for free. So let's say you did that. Well, on the new launch of Minecraft, you closed down Minecraft, you're done for the day, and you came back. All your chests and inventory would be empty. They would not save your progress for everything in your inventory. So basically, you lost a bunch of items in the 1.16. Now you don't lose any more items if you don't buy Minecraft. Apparently, lava damage did not work properly or things like that. They did not work the same in previous versions. So, uh, now lava damage works correctly and I burned down a jungle. Yay! In the previous version, an enderman could t place a block, even a snowy block without snow on it. They could place any block on top of an item frame. Technically, you can place a block on top of an item frame and the item frame will still be there. But Endermen should not place blocks on top of blocks. So uh, now they don't. Also yes, the jungle is no longer on fire. It's raining. Also apparently, when you went out of a chunk and went back into a chunk, the paintings would pop off the wall or wherever you had them because uh it just would so let's say they were like on the very chunk border and we're still technically on a block and you unloaded the chunk where the painting is actually holding on the painting would pop off now the painting no longer pops off when it's on a block outside of the chunk that the painting is on because of the way lava works in minecraft let's say you had some more lava to burn down the jungle and it wasn't in a jungle, it was in the nether. Even though the new nether vegetation is unburnable, the lava would still try to set it on fire. So that means like maybe there was some fire on top of the nether vegetation, even though it would never, never burn. So you could have infinite fire without being on bedrock or netherrack. 
and it would be floating fire. So let's say you were riding a minecart that went right into a nether portal. The minecart would go out on the wrong side of the nether portal, so if you had more tracks on the correct side of where the nether portal was supposed to pop out, the minecart would pop out on the wrong side and not go on the tracks. Also, if you put your tracks on the wrong side of the nether portal to help with this bug not be a bug, your minecart would actually lose the momentum while going through the nether portal. Now it doesn't. A charged creeper, if it exploded and there was a zombie variant nearby, the creeper would not be able to drop the zombie's head. You would not be able to get a zombie head from a charged creeper, so now you can. So after you use a smithing table or stone cutter for one item in a stack, it will still not give you the recipe even though you've already crafted or, or used the block with the recipe that's not given, so depending on how much sense that makes to you, well don't worry, you don't have to worry about it because that's a bug that's now fixed. So, last snapshot, or slash pre-release, there was a new thing that added if you didn't want the rocking back and forth effect on the nausea potion effect, you could have a green overlay. Using F1 to kind of hide your toolbar would actually clear the nausea green overlay effect as well, so you could kind of just skip the nausea effect altogether. But now, if you use F1 while having the option of the green overlay of the nausea effect, you will still, in F1, get the green overlay. So, also on the topic of the nausea effect, pufferfish, of course, can give you nausea. But on the thing, it says that it can give you nausea too, when there's only one version of nausea, nausea 1. So... Now you can't get double nausea from pufferfish. Yay. Also, you know in 1.16.2, all the custom um, modification stuff that you can use, the custom worlds, yeah, for some reason that would not work on the overworld last time, so uh, now what 1.16.2 is most about works again. And that is everything in this snapshot. You made it. Also, don't get mad at me. It's a snapshot slash pre-release. I should call it pre-release more than snapshot, but they're pretty much the same thing. So hopefully soon, 1.16.2 will be coming out. But for now, this is Helm4004 saying goodbye.